Hey, Palm Harbor. So how important is it to sell your home quickly? This is Keith Mathias with Remax Champions. It is incredibly important to sell your home quickly if you're trying to get top, top dollar. You know, in today's market, buyers are looking at homes online and on all those listings, they see how many days the house has been on market. And as soon as they see 20 days, 30 days, they start to ask themselves some questions, right? What's wrong with the house? Why is this one less popular than the other? Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna give you my top five secrets for selling your house quickly. All right, let's jump right in. Secret number one, curb appeal. A little secret in real estate that maybe you guys don't know, but all of our listings have to have a, the first picture on the main picture. It has to be a picture of the outside of the house. Okay, we can't change that up. It's gotta be right at the front of the house. All right, and a lot of people, when they've got their list, I've got my search set up, there's 40 houses to look at. They might only look at that first picture. So that first picture is incredibly important. So we're gonna look at curb appeal, all right? With that, let's just paint that front door, all right? Let's give it a brand new coat of paint. It might cost $5 in paint. Let's get one of those new trendy colors. We'll get it looking nice. Heck, if everything's looking a little shabby, maybe we just paint that whole front porch right. Get it looking nice. So that first picture is gonna pop. All right, second thing with that, landscaping. We're gonna wanna either update it or trim it back. When people are looking to buy houses, I know you might've spent your whole life on that garden, but other people might have different tastes. And it's gonna look like more work the more plants you have. All right, so we're gonna to wanna to cut that back, we're gonna to wanna to trim everything, we're gonna to wanna to make everything look nice for that first picture, okay? Next thing, price you lost the driveway. A, done, a dirty looking driveway can really make people look like, ah, uh, it might be dirty inside. So get that thing nice and clean, make it sparkle. It's really gonna do a lot, of, a lot of difference for that first page. Okay, and then also, add some welcoming. You know, you see those nice little wooden signs at the front that all the women love these days? Maybe put a couple pots of plants, some nice, you know, colorful plants in there. Really brighten up those first couple pictures. Uh, curb appeal, curb appeal, curb appeal. All right, my second secret to selling your house quickly, staging, all right? And I'm not necessarily talking about hiring a company, um, but just think in terms of what buyers are looking for, not necessarily of how you wanted to live in your house. Um, maybe you've got five people, five, six people in the house, and you need two couches and a couple chairs or something. But for pictures, for showings, you don't want all that. So we're going to want to take out some of the, those big pieces of furniture that you're not using. You know, one thing to keep in mind in this process is you're moving, so you should be packing. Let's pack some of this stuff up early, all right? Depersonalize. That's another big thing. Take some of those family pictures down. Uh, they're beautiful. They're going to go up in the new house. But a trick for buyers to, to get buyers to, to fall in love with your house is to, for them to be able to visualize it as their next house. And seeing all your family all over the place on all the walls and all the end tables, it's just going to kind of change the look for them. It's going to look, you know, like they're going to their grandparents' house. Okay? Next thing, minimalist approach. I, I touched on it earlier with the furniture, but guys, it, your rooms will look a lot bigger with less furniture in it. So in your bedrooms, think bed, end tables, dressers. Let's move the rest out in the garage, right? Let's clean up some of that stuff that, that's laying in all the corners. Think, you know, the extra shelves, the extra desks that we don't really need for pictures. Let's get those all packed up, okay? And then the living room. Your living room's gonna look a lot bigger. There's only one couch in it. That's just a little real to trip. Rather than having the two couches or the big corner couch, I love those to live in. But the pictures, Honestly, light, as much light as you can get into these rooms. Um, when people are going to come in and, for showings, if we can maybe open up the curtains, maybe take a, a layer of blinds down. Heck, maybe if you want to keep your curtains, take them down, pack them up. Uh, people don't need to see that on the windows. They want to see light coming in. And a lit, well-lit room looks bigger. Guys, little trick, okay? My third secret, photography. All right, I keep hammering these pictures, but they really are what sells houses these days. If nothing else, that's what gets people in the door to see it, okay? So we're gonna want the best photography. We're not gonna, I'm not talking the newest iPhone. I'm talking we're gonna hire a professional, all right? We want the 
great parts about working with a realtor, especially with me. Um, I, I shouldn't speak for everybody, but I'm going to take care of that out of pocket. All right, I'm going to pay for that first. We're going to get that taken care of. I already know the best, the best photographers. We don't want to haggle on price because we want the best. All right, and you want the best angles and the best lenses to get it, make things look big. Um, they can even add it up to, to make the light just right. So it's a big, big plus to working with a realtor. Now, number four, you need to price this thing correctly. Uh, this is where maybe you're not wanting to hear this, but uh, an overpriced house doesn't sell fast, okay? So if you are saying, I need to get at least what my neighbor's cousin's mom got for her house, guys, it's not going to go quick, okay? We need to get that thing in front of as many people, and one thing we want to think about, people online, when they're searching online, they've got a search set up that's emailing their properties, they're looking at their window and everything matching it. They're putting their properties for, for their search from X dollars to Y dollars, okay? And if your house falls just over that, they're not even going to see it, all right? Even though maybe they're going to buy in that price, they're not even going to see it. What are going to be in their search? Okay, so we need to price that correctly. And I'm not saying that, that we need to get less money for your house. We just need to price it correctly. And that means doing a, pre uh, a correct, comparable analysis on it. Uh, we're going to look at what house is immediately nearby or in your community of sold. We're gonna take into account some, some little variations in the house. Maybe this one's got a pool, maybe that one doesn't. Maybe this one's got a new roof, maybe that one doesn't. New AC, you know what I mean. Uh, updated kitchen, et cetera, et cetera. We're gonna price that correctly. And what that means is we want as many eyes on it as we can. We've all heard houses going over this price. It's still very much an option. Very much something that could happen here. Uh, but we need to price it correctly so that it's off the market in the first five days. Something we don't want to have to take a price reduction. We don't want to have to take two price reductions to get to the We want it to sell good. Okay? And now the last one, my number five secret for houses selling fast here in the Tampa area, availability. Alright, there's an old saying in football, uh, an athlete's greatest ability is his availability. It doesn't matter what he can do unless he can do it on Sunday. Alright? So same thing with your house. We're going to put it on market this week. I need it to be available to show all weekend. Um, so maybe we take a little staycation, go out and get a hotel with the family. Um, but we want that thing open for showings as much as possible. That first weekend, ideally, we'd like to do a couple open houses, invite the neighbors. Maybe they've got some, someone interested in the neighborhood. Uh, but we want to get as many people through there as quickly as we can. It's going to create some demand, too. Make people think they need to make a decision quicker if they see somebody else. So we need that house to be open for sure. So, all right, guys, there you have it. Those are my top five secrets for uh, selling a house quickly here in the Tampa market. I hope it helped. Uh, let me know. Drop, drop a little comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think it was the best secret there. Um, if there was maybe something that, that caught your eye last time you bought a house or, you know, when you're looking at the pictures, what really jumps out at you? Uh, but anyway, thanks for taking a look. Uh, again, it's Keith with Remax Champions here in Newport Ritchie, Florida. If you have any questions about you know, what this process looks like or maybe you're just interested in learning how much your, your house would sell for in this market, give me a call. My number is 727-753-8588. All my other info is there in, the, com in the, the comment section in the description. So, All right, thanks guys. Have a good one now. Bye.